Joshua Oigara, KCB CEO. Oh, thank you. What a mind speak. My God, we, I couldn't even get this interview started. <laughs> How was it for you today? Because you did it once before, but that was a different time. Ali Khan, this was absolutely outstanding. It's different. It's, um, in my view, in terms of what we've achieved today, the engagement I saw from the team is very historic. I have been a follower of Mindspeak for a long time. I know, I've and been I here. It. And, and what you're creating today is the landscape of space to transform, in my own language, a motherland for the next generation. Wow. That, you were fantastic. Let me tell you, I, I mean, I was looking at the response on so what you yes. told people. Correct. You, you, were, you, were not, uh, you were not sugarcoating anything, you were telling people how it is. Correct. Joshua, we, we've been there at the head of KCB 18 yes. months. I know we got results, so we can't tick into that, but we can go back. Yes. We've had some, you know, it's the share price at a record high last week. Correct. How do you feel 18 months in? You know, if there's one thing, Alikan, that excites me today is the engagement and energy for our team or my team in KCB. Mm. If I look at the last, my own capability and energy, mm. enthusiasm yes. is about every day they wake up to make a difference, to transform. Mm. And the partnership with Safaricom and Beashara yes. Smart, which is just one of the three coming partnerships, yes. is a complete game changer in the centerpiece of transformation of our country and our business. You know, Joshua, since I've known you, you've had a very strong idea about collaboration, Correct. very 21st century. I saw that when we first met. And it seems to me that, you know, this, and Bob was here, right. example of your collaboration, right. came to support you. Right. Very interesting collaboration. Right. Jo Joshua, is this a new way of doing business in Africa or is it, uh, how would you characterize it? Where did it come to you that this is the you, way? You know, Alec, in the past, is, is now be gone beyond us. What we're looking for in terms of changing our nation, our region, the real question for us to develop, to lift people out of poverty, to give them a life and hope is about working together through partnerships. It's been there before, but we've seen a lot of individualistic leaders saying it's me and no one else. Mm. That is part of the last century. Mm. And in fact, mm. the day we do not realize that partnership is the way to change our philosophy and development as a nation, we will never make progress. It will be inconsequential for our people and therefore, like other countries in the world today, whether it's in America, in European, in South America, in South Africa, in Nigeria, what truly wins is two great hands joining together mm. for the purpose of one only, transforming our country, transforming our region, transforming Africa. Can I just go to this Beer Shara Smart where you yes. joined hands with Safaricom? Can you just tell us a little bit about that? I know it's targeted at SMEs, Correct. but what is it? You know, so, so two things that are very critical for us in this, Safaricom and KCB, are a very preeminent, solid, truly Kenyan organization. The true fabric, the DNA, mm. the blood flowing in the stream is Kenyan. This for me is the exciting space, that two large organization believing that we can work together with our small and medium enterprises. So a million SMEs, giving them a complete one-stop solution of financing, technology products, solutions, tips today, give them packages for their solutions as well, and also give them perhaps a Biashara Club, smart, Business Bishara Club, where they can come in and share their ideas and collaborate. What we believe is to lift millions of entrepreneurs in Kenya and also in the region to build Kenya. It's in line with our Vision 2030, the financial pillar, the social pillar. Through that, I see casting my eye a bit wider, we can reach the estimated 9 million micro enterprises in two to three years. That's a, that's this is how you create opportunities for the youth, mm. employment for mm. the youth. How do we get a million, mm. 10 million? Because of the 1 million youth out of employment, mm. the business opportunities on SME, the business opportunities on micro enterprises. All, think about Alican, the bigger sectors coming up mining, yes. oil and gas, technology, infrastructure, mm. tourism. Mm. The value chain of this, who is going to do it? Mm. It's the young people. Mm. But they were so inspired by you today. It's just extraordinary. Joshua, you know, c coming back to the business. Correct. You made very interesting points about South Sudan. You've opened two branches. Correct. When everyone exactly. thought you'd be, exactly. you know, banks should be running away. You're exactly. there. Exactly. So, you know, I think that's KCB's yes. strength, isn't it? I mean, our view, Ali Ken, is that we must be bold enough to overcome our greatest fears to build a nation. Mm -hmm is not one thing that, we, we are not feelable, we are not scared, we are very determined, we are very deliberate. 
and and that delib in the difference Ali can between what is seen as impossible mm. today and possible in our business what in life is sheer determination yeah that's what we got and every day you can build efforts to change that transformation of our business of our lifestyle for our home so if I look at the region and we will talk about the results in the next few days mm. The dynamic transformative change in South Sudan is that we are at a temporary situation today. But in terms of belief and confidence, mm. our business is still looking up. Mm. We are still growing compared to the same time a year ago. Wow. That, is, that it means we are able to be nimble enough, solid enough. And the coming up of new businesses demonstrates our conviction about leading the journey for transforming our continent. Where do you go next then, geographically speaking? Very great question. We're looking at markets. Just the other day we came in from Zambia a week ago. Mm. We got an invitation by the head of state to visit Ethiopia. We got an invitation to visit last yes. year. We are looking at Somalia. We are looking at the DRC. I mean, our vision in the midterm is a cup of 10 countries yes. within the East, Central and South Africa. We're looking at Mozambique. Yes. You know, so we, we have exciting, we have a lot of, as KCB, one of the things that I am proud about our institutions mm. We receive a lot of invitations from governments yes. in the region yes. to set up business because of our belief in good business, yes. ethical business, and also the ability to scale much faster mm. regional integration. That is our DNA. Mm. Remember, we've been an outlier from the first. Yes. We went in the region in 1997 yes. when no one else thought you could bank on Africa. Mm. You could bank on East Africa before the community, mm. even before the European South Community, mm. before the Common Market Protocol was signed. Wow. So today, we will continue, to, but our philosophy for growth is based about focusing on our customer flows, enabling yes. our Kenyan, East African customers to progress in their business. So that is what determines our expansion for the markets. So we're looking at all these markets and we will continue to grow uh, for me. And that is how we can interconnect. This is home. Africa is home. Correct? I am yes. a believer in Africa today. Yes. I've been in many parts of the world, but today I can tell you, I, can, I am a proud believer in the continent. It's a defining too. moment mm. for us. So if leaders of my size and organization, and Safaricom and others, and Barat Taka was here, if you and yourself, mm. we are articulating this position, we are able to walk the talk, be part of the journey from the front, mm. you will be amazed about the kind of dramatic change that you will see in our markets. Joshua, I can't not avoid it. You're, you're 39 years old, right? I yes. mean, we, have you been as driven as this since childhood? I mean, I see somebody who is relentless. I see somebody who I wouldn't like to be standing in front of because I would be like to be alongside you. My, my father used to say, I mean, I must say it has changed over time. And the more I see the African Renaissance, the more I believe that only individuals of our generation mm -hmm. The billions of feet of footprints yes. are interconnecting today. Mm. And I want to be part of that journey. I want to be part, you know, you connect the dots backward, Alican, mm. not forward. Yes. So if you look back and say the last six, seven years, slowly we're getting the education, yes. the social interconnection. We are seeing the global nature of African markets. A lot of push. We are seeing the more inclusive growth than accelerated growth as a fast philosophy of development. So today I feel that KCB has also catapulted myself. Mm in terms of being able to see the more global picture yes. of designing a strategy for developing the continent. And I will continue to do this, where I am in KCB, but I feel that as an African in this part of the world, connecting our friends across the globe, yes. we're in a fine moment to create a more step change, in mm. fact, Alikan, mm. in our income levels for our... It will not be progressive. Mm. In the, we, see, we are confident we can achieve our vision 2030 by 2020. So if you're looking at $1,000 per capita yes. to, to join medium income, we yes. should achieve that in the next six years yes. as a country. And, and I can tell you, it is flagship organizations like KCB and Safaricom that can accelerate, that can push that achievement to be realized. Joshua, I want to come back to two points you made. You said you saw mortgage rates at 10%. You're the biggest mortgage bank in this region. This is a big, big potential business. You said it's, too, it's small at the moment at half a billion dollars. You obviously want to grow it. You know, everywhere I've been in the world, the day interest rates come from double digits into single digits, there's always a big rally. So are you, are you looking forward and thinking that, you know, this Eurobond liquidity gain has been very positive? Is this sustainable? Are we on a cusp of a, another big move? Absolutely. I mean, I would say, Elikan, that mm. 
I am very confident, I mean, sitting in my position in KCB and in KBA, that our commitment as an industry to improve the cost of credit is a real confirmation about our strength and determination. There is no, we want to put the rates down. We want to make it affordable. So when we looked at the cost of credit committee, where we were members, we've addressed one or two aspects. So one was establishing a reference rate. Mm. So the KBRL has been formed. Two was bringing transparency on the total pricing. We have introduced the annual percentage rate, which is the APR. But we have got a few more things to look at. We're going to re review registration of security documents at the Ministry of Lands, for because instance. Because that's very slow, is it? It's running. No, it is running. I think work has already started with the Cabinet Secretary for Ministry of Lands, and, and there's a lot of belief about this process. We've also been able to see, working with other consultants in the process, legal minds, documentation for the process is happening. That is the second part. The third part is looking at the judicial process. How do we make it easier to resolve matters? Which with a dispute in a, in a court process, on a commercial court process, within a shorter time. Then, of course, the Eurobond funds will bring in huge capability for the nation on the fiscal side. Because mm. you've got funds now available to do some of the things. And for sure, and this is why in the next review mm. for the KBRL, I think we definitely will be looking for positive signs, mm. which is January next year. And as the rate starts getting down, today, let me say, mm. there are customers today borrowing a single digit, believe yes. you me. Yes. They could be the blue chips, the yes. AAA customers who are much ahead. But as we get our mortgage rate, today we are at 12.9. It's mm. 300 basis points ahead of the reference rate. No, it's I not am. too far. No. We were 20% Alican 12 months ago. Mm. Yeah. So we were reference plus 11. Yes. We are at reference plus three mm. today. So we are basically looking at reference plus one, reference rate plus two, KBRL plus two. When the rates reach, and for me, the mortgage is a big enabler Huge. of transformation mm. for the nation. Mm. And you are in so we, I'm looking, so we're looking ourselves to say, okay, we have a billion dollars worth of book, but, uh, you know, half a billion dollars today, but can we increase it today to 10 billion? Mm. Can you? This is absolutely, absolutely. We see a lot of demand in our market, if you look at it. And you're now talking about expanding this. Well, you, you see, when you talk about a home, why it's very close to me, it's about bringing dignity yes. back Yes. to our countrymen. Yes. Everyone deserves to live in a good home mm. with, base, with kind of services, infrastructure, access, water, electricity, isn't it's it? We all thing. need to do that. It's dignity. Mm. Yeah? And, if we, and, and there's nothing as critical and transformative and solid like mm. having your own home. No. It's it could be Exactly. You feel you have your wings to mm. fly. Mm. You have ability to be able to run in the organization. So I, I am excited that even as you also work into having perhaps lower cost mm. homes just beyond you know what you call a mortgage about three million shilling home. E exactly mm. I mean I mean a home two and a half million mm. three million shillings home because that's really where the fabric mm. of the country is so if I'm in Lamu and I'm in Garissa mm. you know a 10 million home maybe mm. a little bit far out of reach so we are working on that you know and, and that for me is an exciting part and this will also, this kind of solution will also address government to government partnerships Ali Khan. yes for instance, addressing the challenge of housing yes. for the police force, for mm. instance. Because the moment you bring that technology into place, you can then roll out 100,000 homes. It takes us five years to yes. build 100,000 homes. Yes. This kind of idea is to bring 100,000 homes in one year. Wow. That is breakthrough, Ali Khan. That is. There are many breakthroughs, not only that one. Joshua, Eurobond, I mean, I described it yes. when I saw the Eurobond yes. as an open sesame moment Correct. for Kenya's corporate Correct. sector. Correct. Is it, you, you were mentioning today, yes. you are looking at doing that? I, mean, I believe that this is the best news that has happened for the country for many years mm. in terms of accessing the international debt capital market. Yeah, and all, any kind of international debt market mm. because it gives you a benchmark yes. for you to raise a bigger scale bigger mature security of long-term funds mm. for key projects. Yes. And once the sovereign, and I'm very excited about the sovereign, first the kind of rate that the sovereign it's has received. Six, six Absolutely. In fact, it's amazing. Uh, you could say that if we had seen this rate, we should have gone for a slightly higher sized kind of bucket. That's right. If you ask me. But you know, as I said earlier, you connect the dots going back. So for us today, we are looking to yes. organize This year, we definitely are going to do our international credit rating. Right. And that will be the catalyst for exactly. initials. Yes. Exactly. And, and Joshua, what is, what is keeping you up at night? What's, is there anything that's worrying you at the moment? You know, ultimately, Ali Khan, mm. just one thing. Mm. As I said earlier, you know, you, know, you live once. Mm. I like that comment. 
you live once. Mm. And if you live well, mm. once is enough. You don't yes. need two lives. Mm. If what always is my burden every day. And I, t I talked earlier about some stubborn determination in people like Bob Collimo in the house today. Mm. Stubborn determination. You know, people say stubborn is bad, but if you determine in a manner to create transformation or transform Kenya, create more income levels, enhance financial inclusion, change the way people access and live their life out of extreme poverty. Yes. You know, Ali Khan, I get very depressed. I go out towards, towards somewhere in Mombasa and I find yes. people don't have a hundred shillings. Yes. It's a dollar in a day. Yes. Fifty years later? Yes. We must, if we do nothing today, another 50 years later, we'll be perhaps in the worst scenario than today. Mm. And a lot of them are youth. So my concern is, are we creating enough opportunities and organization to empower our young men and women for business, leave the income levels? That is one issue. Are we creating enough businesses to create credible opportunities for our young people coming out of university, high school, diploma institutions, call them, name them. Alikan, we have a million of them. Yes. One million. Never in our history have we had some. Have we had a million of them. So, and that's why I will continue to preach around the engagement of partnership, collaborations, more 21st century leadership mm. to say, together, can we multiply the one job to five jobs? Wow. It's only through a partnership you're going to be able to do it. So, if we can take our multiplier for this partnership from one job today to five mm. on a single day, yes. it means that 10 million, one million jobs can be done within the same year, which in line with our vision 2030 that I spoke to earlier, in line with the Jubilee Manifesto today about creating opportunity for the youth, yes. in line with the social fabric of transforming the agenda for our youth today. Joshua, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Appreciate you it. Thank you, my brother. You were a great guest. Thank you very much. Appreciate my it. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.